skies, sandy beaches, and ocean waves. I'm on Usedom, the second biggest German island in the Baltic Sea. It's a hugely popular holiday destination. But why exactly? Why? Because you fall in love with Usedom. Good vibes, good weather, sunshine, water. What more could you want? Nice sandy beach, nice people. We're the sunny island, right? It's true. Usedom is one of the sunniest places in Germany. But right now, in midsummer, too much sun can be dangerous. So beachgoers have found ingenious ways of keeping out of the sun. The result, a colorful sea of umbrellas and tents. The more traditional option is the wicker beach chair. Invented on the Baltic Sea coast in 1882, it's now an essential beach item. Getting in on the fun is super easy. You get a key and a number at one of the many rental spots along the beach and find your chair. Then you set it up and relax. The wicker beach chair is tightly interwoven with beach culture at the Baltic and the North Sea and rarely found outside of Germany. Usedom is an island of superlatives. It has Germany's longest beach, some 1900 hours of sunshine a year, and it's super full. Especially the beaches are overrun by tourists. What I'm wondering is, are there any quiet spots left? Let's find out together on a tour around the island. Usedom has an impressive 12-kilometer boardwalk. It leads you past lots of greenery and beautiful buildings. The promenade is the most direct connection between the popular resorts of Banzin, Heringsdorf and Albeck and stretches out all the way to Schwinoujście in Poland. Usedom is part German, part Polish. The island is famous for its piers. Albeck is actually home to Germany's oldest. It was built in 1882. After about a quarter of the way, you'll come upon a restaurant. In winter, this is a great place to hide from the cold Baltic winds, but now in the summer, it's a lot nicer outside. From here, it's a pleasant walk to the end of the pier. During high season, excursion boats dock here several times a day. My next stop is Usedom's sand sculpture exhibition. General Manager Matthias Marius Krüger leads me past 100 sculptures. They're the work of 25 artists from all around the world. How does sand become art? Yes, how does sand become art? We have these big crates which are prepared, they're filled with sand and water, then the mixture is compressed, then the next layer is added on top and the next. And when it's solidified, the artist can start working on it from the top, work from the top right down to the bottom. Is it really only sand? Don't you spray it with anything to make it stick together? It really is just sand. That's why there's a roof over our heads to protect the sand from the elements. It's simply compressed sand and the artist's many, many years of experience in dealing with this material. That's the secret. But not the only one. The artists also use a special kind of sand. Matthias shows me how that works. One, two sandboxes. That's right. Here we have our Baltic Sea sand, like you'd find at the beach. It's very fine. And even if you squeeze it together, not much happens. And then there's our sand sculpture sand. You can take it, press it together quite firmly, and you have a really nice ball. The sand used here comes from a gravel quarry in Pudagla, a town on the island. It hasn't been worn smooth by the sea, so it packs together better.
But sand sculptures don't last forever. So each year there's a new exhibition with a different motto. This year, it's Expedition Earth. All the places I've seen so far have been full of tourists. Now I want to have a look at Usedom's quieter spots. That means to the hinterland. Here you'll find forests, meadows and lakes. The island is separated from the mainland by the Achterwasser, a lagoon formed by the river Peine flowing into the Baltic Sea. I'm treating myself to a truly special experience. I'll discover the area on horseback. On Usedom, there are many riding stables. I've chosen this one in Alt Salentin. A group of locals had planned a tour and they've invited me to join. This is Adriano, my best buddy for today. Or at least I hope so. Before hitting the road, we need to curry the horses. Saddle them. And put their bits in. Almost ready, but safety first. Oh, God, oh, it's been a long time. One, two, three. Made it. Let's do this. First, we need to cross town. I've been in the saddle a couple of times already, so I was able to join the tour right away. But if you've never sat on a horse, you'll have to do a couple of practice rounds at the stables or let someone else take the reins. In any case, this is a great way to discover nature. It really is true. Here in the back country, there aren't nearly as many tourists as there were at the beach and in the resorts. Nature and beautiful scenery, as far as the eye can see. But before I get too romantic, we decide to speed it up a little. A trot is as far as I'll go, this time around. I'll leave the gallop to the pros, but I do have to say, this area is the perfect spot to go horseback riding. We could even take a quick dip with the animals. in Usedom is almost over, but there's still one thing on my to-do list. Eat fish. Up to the late 19th century, fishing was the islander's livelihood. I'm in Kozuru, where fish was made more durable by coating it with salt. Food conservation kept the island's mostly poor population from starving in winter. Today, the historic salt huts are under a preservation order. In 1991, the family restaurant Kozuroa Salzhütte opened its doors. But here, the fish isn't salted, it's smoked. That's typical for Usedom. And master smoker Stefan Eilrich is going to show me how it's done. How do you prepare the fish for smoking? Does it have to be salted or otherwise spiced? First, we cut it into portions, salt it, and then hang it to dry. Just like we have here. How long do you leave it hanging? For at least three quarters of an hour, just to dry. When smoking fish, less is more. Smoking takes time. Which types of fish are particularly good when smoked? Up here we have eel and salmon. And below? That's halibut. Once the fish is dry, the oven is closed for about an hour. In case you were wondering why they call it smoking. <laughs> Time to get a taste. I'm going to try them all. Eel, salmon and halibut. I wonder if these are the ones I smoked. 
But at this point, who cares? The most important thing is, they're all delicious. Bustling life at the beach and tranquility in the backcountry. Good food and plenty to do. Usadom offers all the ingredients you need for a perfect summer holiday. I for one had a great time. I hope you did too. See you next time somewhere in Germany. Thank you.